Good morning, people. Watch up in 65. Lisa Boyce, I just came in from outside and I'm freezing. So let me give you a verse of scripture. It is out of, I just had it. Okay, there it is. It's out of Romans chapter 8 and it's verse 11 and it says, But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. So, there you go. So let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, you are rapture ready which is going to happen at any time and you're sealed until the day of redemption which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation the holy spirit will indwell in you the holy spirit will lead you guide you minister to you encourage you speak to you teach you the holy spirit will change you that's what he does so this came out today now russia is literally bombarding Ukraine right now. But this came out today. This is why I know, again, the U.S. is going to pull away from Israel. So Zelensky is going to meet Biden tomorrow. He's going to be at the White House, Zelensky. The two leaders will discuss joint military projects. And I can almost guarantee you that after this meeting, there will be funding for uh, Ukraine. So, Zelensky will pay a visit on the US to the US tomorrow. His office has announced he is to set he is set to meet with his American counterpart Sleepy and the Dopey administration who extended the invitation according to the White House. So, among the key topics of, at the talks in Washington will be the continuation of defense cooperation between Ukraine and the United States. In particular, joint projects for the production of weapons and air defense systems, as well as coordination of efforts of the two states next year. The announcement said, the announcement on Sunday said, so they announced this yesterday. The White House token secretary, press secretary, confirmed his visit in a statement saying, and this is what she said, to underscore the United States' unshakable commitment to supporting the people of Ukraine as they defend themselves against Russia's brutal invasion, the urgent needs of the country will be discussed. No mention of Israel. Like I said, Israel, yeah, yeah. They're gonna back off. The US is gonna back off because they, they have to keep this agenda with Ukraine going and going and going for however, God knows however long. They have to keep it going because there's personal interest in this thing. They don't have nothing with uh, Israel. Nothing. They're going to pull out. And this will probably be probably one of the reasons why 
is because they're going to decide to support Ukraine rather than Israel. So on Sunday, Zelensky visited Argentina to congratulate newly elected libertarian President Javier Malay on his inauguration. It marked the first time the, Ukraine, the, uh, the Ukrainian has visited Latin America since the start of the war with Russia began. So Zelensky's latest visit to Washington will come three months after he last met with Biden <clears throat> at the White House. During those talks, the leader uh, reiterated how uh, reiterated a vow to continue providing military and economic aid to Ukraine. Listen to what it said. As long as it takes. As long as it takes. However, Biden has struggled since then to secure congressional uh, approval for the $60 billion aid package that he has proposed for Ukraine. A growing number of Republican lawmakers have opposed additional aid for Kiev, citing concern that Washington is merely prolonging the fighting in Ukraine without having a, a clear strategy for bringing an end to the conflict. Well, guess what? They're not going to support Israel either. Now, this came off of war news this morning. Strong, and this is why I do believe with all of my heart that they are going to pull all the sources possible to support Ukraine. And basically, to put it in street terms, to hell with Israel. That's going to be their motto. Listen to this. Strong Russian attack on Kiev. Hypersonic KH-47M2 Kenzal hit Patriots. This is the second wave with, uh, with ballistic uh, missiles. So the Russian Air Force just launched a hypersonic attack by hitting the Patriot anti-aircraft system protecting Kiev with a Kinzal. So Russian sources report that 11 missiles were fired and at least, and that at least three of them were hypersonic. The rest were Iskander M ballistics, all hit targets in Kiev. And it's funny, this guy in Ukraine is meeting with the White House tomorrow because He's at the end of his rope and he don't know what else to do. So I guarantee you they will come out and support this. I can almost promise you they will. And if they don't, oh, they're going to figure out a way to support Ukraine. No doubt. Says the, um, the Russian Air Force reportedly launched at least seven airstrikes in Kiev early this morning. Explosions occurred on the left bank of the Ukrainian capital. The Russian Air Force attacked with Kenzal and Kenzal hypersonic missiles against Kiev's air defense system. This is indirectly confirmed by the fact that the air raid alert in the city was activated after hitting Ukrainian targets. So apparently the Ukrainians did not detect they were unable to detect the hypersonic missiles. In the area of the explosions, there, was, there were only Patriot systems, radars, and gunnery. During the night, about 40, uh, 45 Garin 2 Kamikaze drones also hit targets on Ukrainian soil. So while... Ukraine is being obliterated, basically. Ukraine's president has to have a talk with the U.S. president or resident, whatever you want to call him, to get more money 
and get more support. Now, I wonder how they're going to do this because that package also included money for Israel. Are they just going to take Israel out of the equation? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> of course. Of course. That's going to be a fatal mistake on the, on the United States. I'm going to link this in the description box. I have to get ready and go and get Zach. And I will be back later. Thank you.